Hey everybody, this is Kota Kiriyama. Today I am trying to catch fish as every time, but um, it wasn't really easy. Today really warm day and you know, a little light wind. I thought, you know, they're going to eat really good, but they weren't. So the couple thing I thought about it one, it's, uh, it's just unusual worm all of a sudden today, so maybe they got really finicky. And sun, no, you know, there was no cloud and nothing, so maybe they didn't like that. Um, trying to think, you know, where, where they could be. I mean, I know they're in the hard bait, I mean, hard bottom. I had a few bites, uh, but the small fish on the hard bottom, but, you know, they're all small. So I was like, well, it's got to be something, you know, I mean, they, they got to be biting it, they got to be somewhere. So I just tried to figure out, you know, there's something more than just hot bottom. So I was trying to find maybe rocks, you know, you have a hot bottom first, then you have a rocks or stumps or, you know, junk, some something. I mean, just not just hot bottom, but you got to have something plus um, hot bottom is what I thought it might be. So, came to this spot, um, pick up the car light Carolina rig because, you know, fish are not that deep, maybe four to six, seven feet, maybe eight feet at most. So, and I didn't, I didn't want to really spoke them in there. I mean, I want to feel the bottom good enough yet, don't want to really uh, drag the heavy one because there's a lot of rocks and trees down there. So I pick up this quarter ounce tungsten and leader is about maybe about probably two feet or a little less and use the chunk crow from Jackal. Chunk crow 3.5 with the owner hook on it. Twist lock light 4.0 perfect size and dragging the bottom very slowly, very slowly. So that's what I'm doing it because I got more bite when I really, really drag real slow, even though they were small. So we'll see how it goes. It's good. Oh yeah. Yep, look at that. Yep. Here we go with the spotter bass. There's a little fatty. You can tell. Boy, this little guy's got lots of power. Look at this. He got it. It took a good on the chunk crawl. Boy, you just have to drag the bottom to make him butt, I guess. It can be very, very finicky at the time, but we'll just keep trying. Here's, here's a bite. Oh, come on. Right when I get on the rocks or something. Yep. Oh, come on, dude. It's like when you hit a rock, you get a bite. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Got it. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a little better. On the Carolina. Look at that. Oh, yes, look at that. Large mouth. Got him. Look at this fatty. Oh yeah, on the Carolina. The whole deal is you gotta find the hard bottom where they can just roam around with trees or any kind of junk. That's what it took. I mean, you can just fish anything hard bottom that you get to a lot of little ones too, but when you find hard bottom plus something, like trees and anything, then you catch the fish like this and be happy. 
<laughs> I like it.